everybody, welcome to Burst Reviews. Today we're going to be unboxing Loot Crate Villains 2. And I'm really excited because I've never gotten a Loot Crate before in my life. Um, I've been too guilty to spend the money on it because I always look at it and go like, uh, 20 bucks for a, a blow up crown and, and I'm like, I can't do it. But, I did see the uh, advertisements for it, for it and um, I saved I think like maybe 4 bucks on it. So I brought it down to like maybe like 16 bucks and change. And the three advertisements that I saw for it, which was very clever, was... The first was the Joker, which is this one. The second one was Venom, which is one of my favorite Spider-Man characters. And the third was Heisenberg. And I'm like, all right, just, just, just take my money. It's fine. I'm gonna cancel it September 1st. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, depending on what's in this box, I maybe, maybe I won't cancel it. So let's unbox it and see what we got. Yeah. There we go. Oh, need a knife. So. Alright, so obviously it comes with a manual, which it always seems to do. That's cool. Some type of plastic. Hold up. Looks like an apron. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is pretty legit. I like this. I like this a lot. Check this out. Los, pa Los Palos Hermanos. Breaking Bad. Gus Frang. Chicken Man, right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear it. I don't care. It's shameless, but I don't care. Ugh. This is. I will barbecue. I will be that nerd who will barbecue before the summer ends. Who is just like, yeah, want some chicken? Venom 16 ounce molded mug. Just open that up. Let's see what we got. I need, I need the knife again. Boom. Look at this. Look at this. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've seen as a look at look at how it that, look at that look at that and what I like about this look how the tongue goes from here and comes straight back to the handle that's that's pretty legit that's gonna go that's gonna go right here next to the other my stormtrooper in the background and place of honor. Um, <laughs> Oh, the pin. Let's just get this out of the way. The pin. The Loot Crate August 2015 Villains 2 pin, which you get with almost every crate, I believe, and nobody... You know what? I don't really like the pins. I don't know why. Like, I guess if I was still, like, in grade school, and I wanted to, like, decorate my backpack, I'd be like, yeah, Loot Crate pins. It's like, they kind of remind me of Pogs. Remember Pogs? I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, I kind of like it. I, I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll put it with the fucking... Yeah, and that's what's gonna stay for uh, forever. <laughs> Captain America, the first Avenger loot crate exclusive. EFX collectible Marvel. Um, it's a it's a Hydra pin. It's a Hydra pin. Check that out. So, you see that? Yeah. Hail Hydra. All right. So that's kind of cool. I mean, once again, I don't know what I'm gonna put a pin on because I don't wear pins like. Maybe like my uh, video camera bag, maybe I can put it on there. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of kind of like the, if you look in the background, you actually have a uh, red skull on the back of it, which is kind of cool. And it's got two pins on the back of it. So double up on that. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. And the last thing that came out of the Loot Crate box is this. The DC Comics, the Joker painted wooden figurine. And there it is right there. Take a look. Pretty cool. Um, he's got two heads. Um, the one says, uh, ha ha, the other says he he he. And it also ties into the box, because when you look at the inside of the box, it looks like we have something going on, or I thought it was initially like the Bat Cave, but it's not. It looks like we have some like underground, um, you know, sewer thing with the Joker and Harley Quinn is over here on the, on the back. You get a close up of that. And, you know, she's spraying the stuff up, and it looks like they're building some type of of robot, as you can see right here, the Joker is, is building something, some type of mechanical Joker robot, and that seems to be what we have gotten, so, which is pretty cool. Let's, let's open this up and see how well it's made. I know it's made out of, out of wood. Again, it's probably going to end up on the shelf. To, you know, I, 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 I <laughs> at the end of the day, I might just keep getting these, and my entire shelf might just be loot crate, because I, I, I like this. Like, this is kind of, you know... I like to wait sometimes and, and see if it's actually worth getting because some people get crates that they don't actually like. But I think this one's pretty decent. 
Okay, so it's like the, the one head. That's kind of cool, I guess. And the body. Come on now. Ah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Uh, where'd you go? Okay, so it looks like it's just like you put the wooden head inside the back and it kind of just stays there I mean if you if you if you go like that and falls right out um, he has hands that go up and the the, the, the can, he, can, he, can he hold his head? No, he can't hold his head. I don't know why Like I don't get why the head is kind of just I mean it's okay, but it's kind of flimsy in the woods. See what I mean? <laughs> like okay, but like, do I want he he or ha ha? I don't know. It it is cool though. I mean, it it's 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 pretty decent enough. It's it's. I don't know why they gave two heads, and the only big difference that I can say. Oh, this one actually does hold a little bit tighter. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, and the, and the the feet twist because you want to move the feet so it can do a little. That's kind of cool. Um, and he has hands, and there's little holes for the hands to put something, and look, his, his hands do turn. And there's holes in the hands, like right here, so you can put something in the hands, I guess, but not the head. Because that'd be kind of cool if you can have him holding the other head, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's alright, I mean... Joker robot? Yeah. Put, a, put an arm up. Put two arms up. Kind of looks like Donkey Kong a little bit. Kind of have like that big upper body look. Robot. Gonna add him. <laughs> I'm gonna put him right next to arms up Baymax. There we go. We'll put the head over here by Batmobile. And the tank can go right there too. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, and then you got like this little book, little manual book. They have like the Los Polos Hermanos. Got a little bit about that. Um. And then here, this is the other page where they have the, the figurine for the Joker and the mug. And the other mug that people could have gotten is the uh, Carnage mug. And I saw some photos of that on uh, Instagram. And, you know, I mean, you can see it right there. I mean, in my opinion, I, I think I like Carnage a little bit more. But as far as the mug goes, I definitely like the Venom one. The Venom one, it's got more color to it. It's, it's got more... Uh, it, it's just way cooler. I, I love the idea that the tongue wraps around to the back. I mean, it's a nice touch. As far as this whole boot crate goes, um, the best part is definitely got to be the uh, the mug. The mug is hands down my favorite. So, um, anyway, and, and this thing. This thing is pretty tight. If I had to rate it, I would give the mug a 10 out of 10. I would give the pin a 4 out of 10. I would give the little Joker figurine about an 8 out of 10. Captain America, uh, I'd give it a 6. And, and this thing. I mean, this is... I, I was slightly disappointed, but it is pretty awesome. Like, I'm going to wear this in the kitchen shamelessly forever, so I have to give this a 10 out of 10. So what do we add up? We got 10, 20, 28, 32. Uh, oh, yeah, the pin, which is, what did I give that one? An 8? So 40. So that's an 80, so... Yeah, so I give this loot crate a B. Yeah, it, it was a decent uh, crate. Um, I've seen previous ones where I was kind of not that crazy about it. Um... You know, I kind of like the Los uh, Polos Hermanos a little bit more than getting a t-shirt, although a t-shirt would be cool too. Um, but yeah, I, I, I give this Loot Crate a solid B, Maybe B plus even, because I, 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 I like it. The fact, the fact that you sent me the Joker, Venom, and Heisenberg, or Breaking Bad, all in one package, this is me to a T. I mean, I'm definitely the guy who's going to look at the crate and be like, what is the theme this month? Because I've looked at the previous themes and I'm like, yeah, okay. But, um, but this one definitely sold me. I give it a B plus. Be sure to comment in the section down below. I want to know what you guys thought. I know a lot of you guys got this crate too. What was your favorite? Was your favorite the, the mug? I mean, this is definitely one of my favorites. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's just... Ugh, I just, I can't... How do you not feel happy drinking coffee out of a mug like that? I, I probably won't. I probably will be too afraid that I'll get, like, a, a white chip on it if somebody dings it. So it's probably good sit here forever between my True Detective mug and my Stormtrooper mug. Be sure to comment in the section down below. I want to know what you guys thought of this crate. What was your favorite? For me, it was definitely the uh, the mug. 
That's definitely my number one. And the pin, I, I don't get the point of the pin, so why do they keep doing it? It's just like needless, it's needless advertisements to, it's like, listen, you already have our money. We're, you know, do you think us putting this on our, our school backpack for little kids is going to make us want to buy a loot crate? I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it is a good idea. Maybe they did like a study where they sound like, oh yeah, you know, the pins cost like 10 cents or less and we get a lot of profit back. So anyway, um, be sure to comment in the section down below. I would love to hear what you guys thought. I'm very happy with this crate. Um, I would probably keep it going. I'm probably going to be like, okay, just, just keep it rolling, keep it rolling. I don't know. I want to see what the next uh, theme might be. I do know that I have until September 1st or 2nd to cancel my, uh, you know, subscription to them or they're going to just automatically do it. But I want to find out what the next crate's going to be because that's going to be a big factor in if I decide to keep it or not. But I was very happy with this one. Be sure to comment in the section down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching because you just got burned. <laughs>